Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle A, B, C, and we are going to calculate this side length A, C. If in this triangle, if uh, this A, D, this line segment A, D is 9, this line segment D, B is 3, B, C is 6, and C, D is 5. And I will show you two different approaches to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first method that we are going to use. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. And now we are going to focus on this side length AB, this one and then BC. We're going to see the ratio on this thing. So I can write AB divided by BC. We know that AB in our case is 3 plus 9 together. That's going to become 12 divided by BC is 6. If we divide them, we are going to get 2. And now, this time, we are going to focus this new triangle BCD, and we are going to focus the side lengths BC, this one, and we are going to focus on this BD. Let's go ahead, go ahead and write it in terms of ratio. I can write BC divided by B, D could be written as B, C in our case is 6 divided by B, D is 3. So that is going to give us 2. And as we can see in both these triangles, A, B, C and B, C, D, their ratio is same. And moreover, in both these triangles, the side length angle, the angle between these two side lengths is a B. Therefore, we conclude that these triangles ABC and triangle BCD are similar triangles according to side angle side theorem. And here is our next step. Let's focus on these two triangles ACD and this triangle BCD. And let's write down these proportions AC over CD. This one we are talking about AC over CD is going to be equal to this BC, this one, this one, BC over BD, this one. They're going to have a same proportion as we know that all these triangles are similar and now let's look at this fraction BC over BD this is equal to 2 and then this side length CD is 5 so we could write this one as AC over 5 equals to 2 that tells us that AC equal to simply 10. So thus our side length AC turns out to be 10 and that's our answer. And here's our second method and this time we will be using trigonometry. And in this new step we're going to be using law of cosines. And here's the law of cosines B square equal to A square plus C square minus 2 AC cosine of beta. Now let's focus on this triangle CBD, the one that is this one over here. And I am going to call this angle beta right up here. Then this side is going to become opposite side. It's going to be B. This side I'm going to say A. And this side is going to be C. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So B square is going to become 5 square equal to a in our case is 3 square plus c is 6 square minus 2 times a is 3 times c is 6 cosine of beta. Let's simplify that thing. 
that's going to become 25 equal to 9 plus 36 minus 36 cosine of beta so we got 25 equal to 45 minus 36 cosine of beta so let's move this 45 on the other side so that's going to become 25 minus 45 equal to ne negative 36 cosine of beta so that's going to become negative 20 equal to negative 36 cosine of beta and now I divided both sides by negative 36 to isolate cosine of beta so we got cosine of beta equal to 20 over 36 or we can reduce it and we are going to get 5 over 9 at cosine of beta and now in this next step let's focus on this triangle a b c and we are going to use the law of cosines once again and in this case once again this is our angle beta and I am going to call the opposite side of this beta I'm going to call this side B and this side is going to be A and this side I'm going to call C so let's go ahead and apply these values in this formula and as we know that B is unknown so I'm going to just put down B square equal to a in our case is going to be this 9 plus 3 is going to make a 12 so this become 12 square and then C in our case is 6 square minus 2 times 12 times 6 cosine of beta we figured out in our previous step that is 5 over 9 let's fill in the blanks on that one so let's go ahead and simplify that thing b square equal to 144 plus 36 and if we simplify all this thing that is going to give us negative 80 and if we simplify the right hand side that turns out to be a 100 let's take the square root on both sides to undo the square root so b turns out to be 10 and we know in our case B is simply this side length AC so that means our AC side turns out to be 10 so we figured out our side length AC as 10 by using two different methods thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye